Siddharth, congratulations on qualifying the National Defense Academy written examination. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Now tell me, what made you prepare for this National Defense Academy and why you want to join it? First of all, I want to thank my uh, father for giving me so much motivation in life. I have never said to him, uh, as it, I thought it would hurt him. Uh, my father also tried SSB and also he also attended the police uh, selection board. Uh, in both, he failed with a minute gap of marks and uh, he was not able to clear it. And he uh, uh, once told me and uh, uh, that day I decided that uh, I should join any of the service forces in this country and I should make my uh, father proud of uh, giving birth to me. Then uh, I searched uh, about Indian Army and uh, I saw some movies like uh, the Cargill hero. Uh, we have in Trichy to a hero from Cargill War. Oh, I saw Superman. his. Uh, uh, yes. Good. I saw him uh, in a roundabout. Uh, he uh, he was uh, having his uh, own place where uh, stories of him were written in Blackstone. Uh, I uh, every day I used to pass through those uh, roundabouts to my school as it was uh, just one kilometer after that roundabout. Uh, from there I started to gain uh, more interest and in 10th finally I decided that I should go into armed forces at any cost and uh, it, it was uh, it has become my dream by uh, then. Uh, I started searching for uh, how to uh, get into armed forces uh, in uh, some social media platforms. Um, uh, and then I saw some uh, YouTube channels who were teaching some lessons. From 10th, even though I didn't know any of those topics, I was just listening to them and, uh, and was uh, making uh, my mind that how difficult or how complicated things will be. When I entered 11th and 12th, I was able to uh, find that they were all relatable and uh, with the NCRT portions, we can, uh, when we clear the basics, we can understand what, it, what they are saying. And once uh, when I uh, re-attended those videos, live sessions uh, were also conducted when I revisited those videos, I was clearly able to uh, understand what they say and answer most of the questions. But few were uh, definitely challenging as uh, India is a very competitive exam, but uh, uh, with, with uh, determination and uh, uh, my, in, my own interest to make my father proud, I, I made it possible in the NDA written. Sir, how to attend SSP, sir? Everybody is saying we should clear SSP, then we'll go to armed forces. I have no idea about uh, how SSP is working and how can I clear it, sir? I want your suggestions and motivation. Okay, Siddharth, first of all, I must uh, congratulate you for your you know, dedication, sincerity to have cleared the National Defense Academy written test. Thank you, sir. You may be surprised to know out of about 7 lakh people who take this examination, only 10,000 or so are shortlisted for the Service and Selection Board. The very fact that your name is already there for the Service and Selection Board, that means you are come within the first 10,000 people out of the 7 lakhs. Now, Service and Selection Board is basically about personality. It's a test of personality. You don't have to go, there's no book, you know, to prepare, how to prepare personality. It is nothing like uh, mathematics or, you know, physics, some formulas, they then do it. No. Over a, right from 1950s, the United States Army has started following a system called Selection Board, in which the officers are selected for West Point. West Point is a place where the American officers, cadets are being trained. Now, in India, there is something called DIPR, Department of Psychological Research. This Institute of Psychology Research, it is in Timalpur. Then, officers are being trained as to how to assess the aspirants for the Army, Navy and Force. All three of them are trained to be there. So that, you know, uniformity is maintained between the Selection Board of Navy, Selection Board of Army, as well as the Air Force. Now, again, I reiterate, there is no need for anybody to go too deep into what personality and how to develop it. But however, 
it's a process which has been instilled in you right from the beginning of your childhood at home you know, your father and mother tells you okay you should have to do this work do this work sometimes a child might work sometimes out of fear like i'm sure that when you say you study in the evening or make a table all right make a bed all right most of the time we don't do that and mothers normally they don't you know worry about it they do it but here you have to this thing once installed for example saini school rashtra military school rimc these are the school which start drilling them right from childhood at a very young age of say 10 to 12 years old i'm sure uh, when i uh, when i heard your when i saw your pre q you had uh, got a wide range of interest in sports academics you performed excellent performance and you got a hobby of singing so all these things have come you know you started singing very early started training very early this type of training again it adds on to your personality we are seeing the whole sum whether the person is academically okay but his intellectual is okay well bold now the three options are there basically one test your mind the psychologist the other test your knowledge that's the interview officer and third it test how you perform in a group or within a group on the demonstrated performance this is what we are uh, looking for i'm sure over a period of uh, the training you come to the right place the defense academy we have got about four officers here we have been the service selection board and we'll able to guide you properly so don't worry about it just take it relax you already got the quality only thing you are going to be shining up then bit of polish here and there and you will make it i'm sure the next conversation we'll have is after you get selected okay thank you